All right, guys, welcome back to Martha is Dead. This is the second episode. If you missed the first one, I highly recommend you go back and watch it. There's going to be a link down below in the description. But in the meantime, we are picking up right where we left off at the end of episode one. So do we choose different clothes this time? We're going to put on a black shirt this time. This dress is only for special oh. occasions. Okay, what about this? The polka dots. Do we have a special occasion coming up that we're saving that for? Oh. It's very rude, but I could pick up the phone and listen to their conversation. Yes, do it. How are you doing today, Rennie? I'm worried, Father. Very worried. We found more partisan tracks in the woods, right next to the house. That Lapo. I suspect he may be involved in the death of... No, please don't say that. It's, it's not possible. I know the boy and I don't... Father, anything is possible in these dark times. Anything. That boy didn't even come to say goodbye to Julia. Didn't they love each other dearly? He must be terribly scared, and Julia always used to say that. Yeah, sure, she used to say they were just friends, but you know too, right? Friends are not supposed to do such things, Father. Or are they? But anyway, you're defending them both. You, my husband, and even the nanny, who, deep down, is a good woman. The nanny? I believe the nanny is the one who hurt Julia. With her evil passion for those cards, they are cursed things. I hope you made them disappear. Of course. I keep them safe in my room. <gasps> anyway, you must forgive me, Father. I have to go. They've come to pick me up. Have a good day. You too. Lapo's involved in Martha's death. My mother is losing her mind again. How could anyone even imagine such nonsense? And Don Attilio, he is a great friend, but what a wicked view. Those cards are just a game, but most importantly, they're mine. Why on earth did they take them from me? New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances and doorways, must remain closed night and day. The population are advised to stay in their cellars, or, where these do not exist, churches and other large buildings. The patrols of German armed forces have orders to shoot at people who are on the street, or who are found looking out of their windows. I shall repeat for clarity. New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vicenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Where these do not exist, mm. churches and other large buildings. We got another roll of film. Armed have 25 ISO film. When the, the sun street, is high in the sky, it's perfect. Found out of their okay, we got more options. All right, let's go get those tarot cards. What is this? Dear mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. <gasps> Go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes. You'll see that her tummy is growing. Martha, what? What? I'm not pregnant. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? What? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. Are you kidding? All right, we got the tarot cards. Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? Hmm. I'm curious if we're going to get a flashback to see some of that. Romola, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Erene, I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. 
I apologize for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. That's what we need. Best regards, Nanny. We need to find that key. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? Perverton again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. Why would she lock up our old room? Sleeps with a rifle next to the bed. There are more and more weapons around, and everyone is scared after what happened. This is Mummy's jewelry. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. The keys to my old room are not here. Where are they? She leaves them everywhere. I think she's having too many and too often. Yeah, this is a room that we need to get into. Why would they lock that up? We got a new newspaper? The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces, 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. 2. Whoever harbors bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. 3. Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. Damn. Italian workers in Germany. The following rules are in place for workers who voluntarily work in Germany. A commitment of a maximum period of one year before returning to Italy. War rages on the Eastern Front. An attack launched by the Soviets after hours of cannonade. The fight on this front has been going on for a long time. Fighting in Normandy. Victorious Germanic counterattack on the road from Perriers to Carentan. Pon Heber reconquered north of San Lo. Many US losses caused by the flying bomb action. All right, we got our news for the day. Oh, shoot. Shuffle or divination? All right, let's see. Let's see what the card's going to give us. What the heck? I guess we have to select at random. The stars. The hermit. And then I'm going to do the one right next to it. Temperance. The solution is still far away. I must be patient and wise. But luck is not on my side, unfortunately. Only one divination per day. I wonder if that has some sort of impact. I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. We got our camera again. Oh, let's try going outside. My bike. The wheel is deflated as usual. A bicycle pump will solve this. Are we going to go for a bike ride? <laughs> the bicycle. Can I just run to this whole area across the way? Wouldn't that be amazing? God, this looks so good. Hello? <gasps> no, we can't go in. This is cool though. Look at this. I actually like that they added this at least where you could run up this way. It gives you some perspective of like the environment. All right, let's check out this other area too. What's going on over here? According to Nanny, this was an old windmill. It has been abandoned for as long as I can remember, and it has always given me the creeps. What's the deal with this? Oh, a note. Tuscans. Throughout Italy, the people are fighting against the German invaders. Over a third of Italy has already been liberated from this loathed invader. We know that you are doing a lot to prevent the Germans from strengthening their power over you. The day of your liberation is approaching. Your freedom is certain. Your region is of the utmost importance in this war of liberation. Hinder the Germans by refusing to cooperate with them in any way. Transport is essential for the German troops and their supplies. Your region is the centre of the transport network south of the Apennines. The Triangle of La Spezia, Florence, Livorno is of great importance to the Germans, 
and their hope to maintain a yoke over Italy. Tuscans, double your efforts. The day of liberation is fast approaching. Unite and do your utmost to speed up your liberation. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm happy we explored a little bit. So obviously there's some communication being sent out about resisting the Germans. Whereas it looks like your father in this game is working with the Germans. Also, wait, hold on. There's another little path here. They'll take us down. Oh, under the bridge. I came here to fish when I was little. I went with that ever so kind man who worked for my father. Who knows where he is now. Maybe he joined the war too. An actual little detail that would be cool is if you could actually see fish in the actual river. Or even like little crawfish or something. Little toads and frogs. I always wanted to swim here when I was with Nanny. Even when it was cold. Totally forgot about developing the roles of film. I, I got so sidetracked. Oh, here we go. A tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures. Oh. I honestly thought that was going to be a bike pump for a second. I have found what I need to take in for red photos. Awesome. So the game's giving me some sort of prompt right here for infrared. Subject framed. What are we taking a photo of here? Okay, we took our first infrared photo. We got to develop that too. All right, let's go. We got some more lenses. With this lens, everything gets bigger. So we got a zoom lens. This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. Okay. Red filter for super high contrast photos. Awesome. Now what's it want me to do with this? I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Ready? Julia? You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, 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 I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. Mm. I never heard the recording. But I was right, my voice is awful. Cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. These images could change everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. I don't think she Down did. my head in these memory lapses. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the mother did something. <gasps> right there. This frame. All right, let's get this developed. Here I was running toward the pier, just as I remember. Oh, okay. So that's us running because we saw the body. Oh, we can go back through to the beginning. We can also do our infrared. <gasps> oh God, there's us actually picking her up. It captured everything as we went to go get her, but did it capture her actually getting like where she was being drowned? There we go. Sad. I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the white lady. What? She might be able to tell me something. Is this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. Oh my god. Alright, are there any other photos of interest? Somebody running- oh, that's us running. This is when we were running to go get her. We will figure this out. Yes, I've undressed and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. Alright. Now the last one to develop is the infrared. What are those streaks coming from the top? I hope there's not a jump scare coming or something as part of this. We may have captured the supernatural. Come on. There we go. Whoa! 
He who flees from the light hides well, behind it. Is this it? a joke? Maybe someone wrote on the film? Also, what does that even mean? Light, like divine light? Something to do with religion, maybe? What the heck? Why? Why is there a message there? Let's check our objectives. Alright, the white lady. So it wants me to go to the lake. Alright, we have to get going to the lake. We'll worry about the bike pump later. I don't see it, like, right next to this area, so... We'll have to figure it out. What's going on over here? Hey, we got a cow! The heck? There's a couple of them. I was afraid of animals when I was little. I never approached them alone. Wow, it's actually a... Whoa, 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 okay, there's a couple and a little baby. What the heck? We got bunnies too! <laughs> what the heck? We got animals everywhere, what? I had no idea that we had livestock here too. Alright, to the lake we go. Are we supposed to take a photo of this? So we've got an SS helmet. Take the photo. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. Alright. Back to our little walk to the lake. Oh no. We have German soldiers. Just doing. It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. This is a terrible idea. You don't want to be running towards German soldiers with submachine guns. Oh no. What the? Why did my screen just jump? Oh, no. Oh, I remember from the demo. Oh, God, please, no. Lapo, my dear friend. What have they done to you? I can't look over. Why won't it let me look over? Chief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Okay. He's got a note. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? <gasps> I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. <laughs> oh god. I even though I knew that was coming, it still got me just like in the demo. Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot. Scheiße, Scheiße, Scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel! Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch! Scheiße, lass uns abhauen! Aber, aber sie lebt noch! Sie liegt im Sterben! Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. This is where we were left off before with the demo. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. 
one whose meaning I did not understand at the time. Oh God, here we go. Martha or mother? Martha. I give you back your destiny? It's not destiny, okay. Martha, I give you back your appearance. God. And it's raining blood, it looks like now. Oh, God. Was she maybe jealous of them or something? Like, what? I'm so confused. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. All right now, I see with my eyes. No dreams. Okay, now it's gonna be eyes then. Eyes. There she is, a white lady. What the hell? She's dragging him into the lake. We get to see death. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No. Impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, 
that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. Oh my god, we finally get to see what happened after the demo. Alright, so they tricked death. They managed to trick him. Uh, oh. Damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. What the heck? New chapter of the burial. Four days after Martha's death. So somebody actually got her patched up even though she got shot? No, no, no. My bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Wait, we can't leave. How is she? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. But she will be alright. Alright, we could finally wear this. I would like to spend a moment with my sister, just me and her alone, before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died, but thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. Wow. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky, and you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods, otherwise... Otherwise she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this, it's too much. So much death and suffering, nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank oh. you, Doctor, for everything. What? Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. Why did, you know, why did that larger bird just peck the heck out of the little one? Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. Why does this room look crazy right now? There's my bag. Thank God. Okay, we got it. We got all, all our stuff back. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Do we have his letter? Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number, 6934. Mm. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Violence against citizens continues in La Romola. And once again, General K's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of When it's not too sunny outside, Martha. the 200 ISO film works well. The from the gunshot in her bag could have killed her. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti-fascist political motive appears to be the only reason behind the cowardly act. 
the New Zealand troops are advancing slowly. After the Battle of Poggi Bonsi, on the 18th, they are still far from the Tavernelli Val di Pisa. The German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausting for the invaders. Let's check out the news for the day. Attempted murder in Laura Mola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. Isn't that the truth? Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. Damn, everything's falling apart. All right, what's this about a ban of use of New bicycles? New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. Alright, we've got all the news. Damn, so they're like misrepresenting what went down. I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Who's calling? Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? It's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello? It's me. What? Hello? Oh, my lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me. It's Julia. Oh, my God. Julia. My little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I... I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow. What is happening? I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the White Lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. What? They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. No way. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Oh, dude. I can now use the telephone to make calls. Also, oh, what's Martha this? Martha was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. Okay, so we'd have to go to the chapel to, to see her. We could start making calls. Call the asylum. Let's see what happens if we do that. Maybe we could just tell them that we're hallucinating and... And get like a game over screen. <laughs> Why would I call the asylum? Mummy was there a few years ago now, and I wouldn't know what to ask. To be honest, I don't understand why the number is still here. Let's let's just do it in order. We're gonna do uh, the Carabinieri. Carabinieri headquarters for the officers of San Cassiano. How can I help? Request information. Hi, I was hoping to hear whether there has been any development on the investigation into the murder of Julia Kay. Wait a moment, please. Who's calling? Act as a mother. I am a Rene Kay. Julia Kay's mother. Mrs. Kay, forgive me. I didn't recognise your voice. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any real news. We are following up on some suspects. We assume we're with the boy who was killed in the woods outside your house. They seem to be planning something else. But your husband is probably the best person to ask about that. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, madam. All right, what about, um... Oh, we do have a new uh, entry. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue. Even the path of insanity. There's another two unread pages. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Two, a part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. I got those. Three, I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four, to communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Oh, jeez. All right. We've got the method to get in touch. So, oh, a final farewell. We got to say goodbye to our sister, but let's try calling this number, 6934. He wanted us to call this number if things got sketchy. You've called this number. Damn, Lapo must be dead then. Rest in peace, fair comrade. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due- No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. What? A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph town on fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life, maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? Oh, God. Um, I don't think we could reveal it. Oh, I just don't. I mean, obviously, he's making the choice to continue. We're going to help the partisans. We're going to try to, to cut, cut the, the cable. cable. I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. All right, we got to find the communication cable as well. Where would another cable be? The box the... is empty. The telegraph would have been installed nearby. Oh. Oh, and we can do new tarot cards. Let's shuffle it. Shuffle again. Divination. All right, let's do the first card. The moon. The empress. The high priestess. I have to see beyond appearances. There are those who betray me and speak ill of me. 
but someone will know how to give me the right advice. Okay. Oh, we are completely on the wrong side. It's actually showing up on the map. Alright, so we have to head out to the front of the house. Okay, it should be right out here. Oh, shoot. Uh, the crow and the little bird. Are we supposed to be the crow? Is this resembling, like, did we, is this trying to imply that we hurt our sister? Oh no. This game, it keeps having me second guess what exactly happened. Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. We're gonna put a dead bird next to Martha. Ah. Oh. Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. All right, Martha. It's time to say goodbye. Here, Martha. This is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. Damn. Crow is crowing. Holy water. It's only water, and yet there's something special about it. There's only a few signatures from my funeral. If people had known that it was actually Martha, there would have been far more. I'm sorry that I took this from you, too. Commune of San Casciano, province of Florence. Death Certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, Number 174, Part 3. Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died. Resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich K. and Irene K. Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. We have one more thing to do. A big fuss. Yeah, what the heck is going on? The Raven, where are you? This is where we need to cut the cable. Let's do it. Oh god, I hope we don't get caught doing this. He's gonna be so pissed. Come on, how many more are there? Is this the it? German tank. I have to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. I should report its location via telegraph. Cut the wire. This wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. We got it. I right, get down, girl. Now all that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. I hope to God they didn't see us doing that. Okay, the job is done. All right, what is this raven freaking out about? It's trying to lead me somewhere. Okay. What's down here, Raven? Oh, there's more fabric. That's isn't that the same kind of fabric that was at the lake? Dress. It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. 
Is her mother behind this? I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the funeral. <gasps> when I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Had it been her? I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. You're telling me that her mother killed what was meant to be her. Why would a mother kill one of her own daughters? When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. So she's playing- What's going on here? Julia? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet- No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. Oh my God. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough. You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic. They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. What? Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then she began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost Martha, your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. I don't know about that. The white lady. Five days after Martha's death. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? We need to take a photo. I will hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. Also, we need to do our tarot cards. I'm going to shuffle three times this time. All right, let's do this. Strength. Judgment. Justice. I will succeed in the end. I'm going to enjoy what I deserve. But uncertainty and resistance to change are making my life very difficult. Okay. Now let's take this photo. I think we're good to shoot. Got it. Let me guess, there's gonna be another note here. What if that's the actual grave that we're looking for, though? Oh! Here's the fog. 
It had to be a foggy morning, remember? Ah, oh, I could almost smell the forest. You guys know what I'm talking about? When you go out into a forest, like on a path like this? Forests have like a particular smell to them, usually. What is that? As revenge, the oppressed people grab the slaughterer by the throat. Adolf Hitler. The Italian Communist Party. Revenge for Lapo. Yep, that's where he died. And there's nowhere else to go in here. Maybe we gotta go to the pier? You guys see that? There's like a, a mist hovering. Oh, are we going on the boat? Without all the necessary elements, there's no point traveling to the island. Wait, 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 what's this? What's this? Blue fabric. My dress. It could be the element that links my world with that of the lady. Oh. It has been here for a few days, in a place that is both mine and hers. Alright, we got the personal object. Can we get on this boat now? Without all the necessary no! elements, there's no point traveling. Alright, what else do we need? The lover. Alright, so I must invoke her loss by putting her in contact with her lover. Uh, look for a lover's grave in the woods, but there's so many graves. If I take a photo of the grave with infrared film, I may be able to see something that points to his grave. Daddy always used to say to me that infrared captures things that the naked eye cannot. Okay, we have to develop the photo. Okay. It's time. We got some more lenses? The yellow filter. If it were to snow, it would be perfect. The green filter. Useful for landscapes. Whoa. There's somebody in that. What the hell? There was nobody there. Alright, let's expose it. What in the heck, dude? Did we capture a ghost? What? I was expecting there to be something written. I hear another plane. Come on. There we go. What? Here's the grave I've been searching for. The spirit of a prisoner. Just like the white lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. We've got it. Okay, that should be everything we need. Back to to the gravesite we go. Okay, we made it to the gravesite. Is there going to be something under these rocks? <gasps> A cross! It's all we needed. If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. With this object, she'll have to hear me. I have no doubt. I cannot believe we're doing this. Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Oh, God. Do you think her mother is going to end up having her committed like she was threatening? I can see that actually happening. Because technically, you know, we're Julia and we're giving in completely to this fairy tale that she's been totally obsessed with since she was a little girl. To the point that she actually believes that there's going to be a white lady at the lake. And we know that her mom is medicated, right? So something's up with her mom. I don't know what her mom's been taking. Maybe so somebody out there knows what that medication is or was back then. But what if the mother and Julia both have terrible delusions? Oh, here we go. This is where we find out. Just got to get on the boat. Let's do this. It's time to figure out if the white lady is real. Give it a little start. Give it a little start. There we go. I cannot believe we're doing this. I can actually control the boat. What the heck? <laughs> Please don't pull me in as we get close. Oh, 
god, I'm a little nervous about this one. Huh? You know, actually, we're making it. This little boat is Nanny's husband's pride and joy. He used to take me fishing in many years ago. I don't understand why my mother never wanted me and Martha to lose it. I've got to park at the little pier. They've just got this random pier built off this tiny island. Might want to tie it off, girl, just in case. We're not going to secure the boat? Okay. I mean, the waters are calm. Red white lady. We've come here to figure out why did you hurt our sister? This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Oh god. Is there more to explore here? Do we have to walk into the water? that film oh, wait no that popped out of the fabric a roll of film it's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body <gasps> it should contain shots from before that moment with a bit of luck one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder I will then finally have an answer was it really mummy I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the White Lady. Okay, this is it. Putting on the necklace. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. Cut off some hair. A lock of my hair to enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. Alright, we gotta put all ten down. She might as well have brought a Ouija board. Game's legit making me do every single one. <laughs> okay, we got them all. Now I must choose. Oh wait, no, maybe not. You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. Okay. My gut tells me to choose this one. Oh, the hanged man. And this one. The fool. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood. And they may return to keep you company. I can select more. Okay, this one. And 
in the opposite corner. The tower. You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. Oh my god. We do more? Alright, the two middle. Death. And what's the other one? The stars. I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. The hell is going on? Alright, I guess we're going through all the cards. The devil. And... The moon. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow, and without time, I am lost in the dark. Down to our last two. The High Priestess. And... The Hierophant. The daughter, the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. Oh no, she's talking about mo- oh! No! Why would she do that? What the hell? Oh my god, get me back up. I can't- I can't get to the surface. Am I supposed to swim down? What the hell is going on? I mean, either this is a, another nightmare, or we are amazing at holding our breath. Come on. We still can't- we can't surface. I guess we just have to keep swimming along the lake. Are, are we swimming all the way back to shore? There's a plane. A plane's gone down. Is there still a pilot in there? Not that I'm seeing. So many fish. There's a pier here. That's the tree. Why is it underwater though? Hell? 
Are we supposed to go towards the light? We're having another moth moment. Go to the light! Can I surface here? Wait, is that the house? I feel like... Is it- are we in the bathtub? <gasps> There's a body! I didn't even notice it! Is that our sister? Who is that? It's gotta be... She's got it. Wait! She has a noose! That's her key! That's the key to open up the box in the bedroom! <gasps> she was in the bathtub. What is going on? Speaking with the white lady confused me even more. But at least now I have this key. Let's go ahead and open up the next box. All right, Martha. She, wait, she has pills. July 16th. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I'm no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. What? Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. It worked. In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to it and you will hear my voice. No way. Farewell, Martha. What? Why all of this madness, Martha? What else have you been hiding from me? You deprived me of your voice for more than 15 years. I can't wait to hear it now. Oh my god. She was lying that whole time. Also, it looked like she had some of her mother's medication in there. Okay, we've got the recording, it looks like. We're gonna hear Martha's voice. Hi, Julia. I know that this will seem absurd, but... This is me, and this is my voice. We are equals in this sense, too. Well, it's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken, and you were my voice. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. <gasps> I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. We had sex, and I never had the courage to tell you. I was so afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now, how can I ever bring this child into the world? The baby is starting to show. Could you tell? That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead, early. I asked you to switch beds with me, like we used to when we were little girls. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. Oh, God, no. We're living out what happened to her. I wrote a card to Mother telling her that it was you who was pregnant, not me, and to come and see at the lake. I left it on the desk in her room. Oh my god. They're still asleep. No way. Then I felt the need to talk to you and I remembered the recorder in the dark room. Oh. I will go to the lake alone and act as 
you. I will tell her everything you never had the courage to tell her. I will be your voice. I know how much she's made you suffer over the years. Unlike you, I remember all of the harm she has done to you, and it is my fault. Take my place, sister. You will live a better life, and I will be able to rest in peace, knowing that I at least try to put right what I have done wrong. I will go now. My last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully. Are you freaking kidding me? Hi, Julia. I was upset. Unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. Oh, dude, Martha. What was the other stuff in there? Martha wasn't there, and we were supposed to go to the lake together. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed, and I always overslept. Oh, we gotta put on something. There was a dress missing from my wardrobe. I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself without Martha. All we can do is go outside. So the door was fully locked up. Everything, like, was latched. It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. It was a sign of something terrible. <sighs> we have to relive this day. My mother had killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. I searched for one of Daddy's pistols to defend myself. What a stupid little girl I was. In spite of everything, that roll of film still needed developing. Even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. Well, now we're armed with a pistol. We got a new chapter called The Graveyard, six days after Martha's death. And while this one didn't really have any significant jump scares or anything, the story is getting very, very interesting. But, with that said, guys, I know this episode's been going on for a while. We're gonna end this episode here. But, I wonder how close we are to the end game. Like, we're at the point where we highly suspect our mother for doing this. Obviously, Martha and the mother had a confrontation. And that's while she was pretending to be Julia. So, technically, she kind of saved Julia's life. Even though it was technically Martha that got herself in the situation where she got pregnant. It's super twisted, though. This is such a messed up story. But, I do plan on playing through the rest of this, so guys, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, turn on those bell notifications if you're enjoying the series, and be sure to leave a like and a comment to let me know what you thought about this episode. Again, I know it wasn't full of jump scares, but I think we're kind of getting there. We're getting to the point when things are going to get real crazy really fast. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. <laughs>